Hello out there? Hello? It's me. Hello, oh, hello, 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 Ronnie. Ronnie here. Um, this is a really fun lesson. Kind of something that I live for every day. Um, one of my... It's not a hobby, but one thing that I think is cool, um, generally and for real, are words in English. Um, being an English teacher, teaching you English, I come across words that just don't make sense. If you think of them in a different language, maybe your language, and then you translate it into English, it, what? It just does not make sense. So, I've got only 10 of these for you today, and I could go on with a thousand, but we are limited in our video time. So, today, 10 words, 10 things in English that just don't make sense. First one, you have probably learned that in English, if you have in or un or anti or un or dis before a word, it means not. So, your brain looks at this and says, inflammable, flammable. Okay, so maybe you know the word, maybe you're French, <laughs> maybe you know flammable, or you can decide that flame pew, means fire. So, if you look at this word in your logical brain, inflammable and flammable must mean the opposite. Inflammable must mean that something cannot catch fire, while as flammable must mean, logically, that something can catch fire. Guess what? Not in English. Inflammable and flammable both mean the same thing. So, the reason is inflammable, um, sometimes the, the preposition, not the prepositions, uh, the things before the words can make it to do with it. So, actually, inflammable means in flames. Do you know that band, in flames? So, the prefix of in, <laughs> it's a prefix. You know means not, but in this case it means with or in, together, mind. Next one, this is fun. Noses run. Okay, so you have a nose. It runs. This means that some liquid, which is called mucus or snot, comes out of your nose. So we say, my nose is running. Ah, uh, my nose is running. But your feet <laughs> smell. Is this funny yet? So, noses run and feet smell. This is another way how English is funny for me because Feet smell has two meanings. One, smell is a verb, and the other one, your feet smell bad. So I can say, my nose is running, and your feet smell. Because mm, usually we run with our feet, and we smell with our nose. Crazy. Good luck with this language. <laughs> um, the next one I've already kind of talked about is mucus snot, or this word, which is phlegm. So, in your language, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, you probably, not Spanish, but you probably say something close to nose water, hanakso. Um, but guess what, in English, no. We're, nose water would be too easy. Hanamizu, no way. We call it mucus, snot, or phlegm. We all also have another word that's quite fun. It's called a booger. A booger is something that you pick from your nose and you can flick. The mucus or the snot is the liquid, like the water. Nose water. It's nose water. Um, so, mucus and snot is liquid and the booger is more of a solid, delicious. Okay, um, speaking about the nose, we have holes in our nose. Everyone probably has two. Yeah, most people have two. Does anybody have one nostril out there? Because be, you'd have to breathe double, I guess. Um, I guess what, they're not called nose holes, Hannah, no Anna. Mm -mm. They're called 
nostrils. Yeah, don't know why. It'd be easier if you just said, hey, my nose hole is really not doing too well over here. But we have to say, my nostril is full of mucus. We can't say, hey, my nose hole is full of nose water. People would go, oh, cool, I want a Kleenex. But no. No, we have to use these crazy words. The other word, like in your language, Spanish dedo. Mm -hmm. You guys probably have something to do with your foot and a finger. Lots of languages, you guys will probably say foot fingers, but not in English. We have to say toes. Hmm. Foot fingers. It's really funny for me because I've grown up my whole life knowing them as toes, but foot fingers just makes more sense. English doesn't make sense. Uh, on to the next five. Um, if you have a car and you want to leave the car somewhere near your house, um, this place is called a driveway. So you park your car in a driveway. However, if you want to take your car someplace like on a drive, you drive on a parkway. Obviously, it would make more sense if I park in my parkway and drive on the driveway. But again, this is why I have a job to teach you the crazy things. This is why learning English makes you crazy. Welcome to my world. Next one. Canadian people? American people? I'm sorry. You're wrong. Okay? This sport is football. All right. Let me explain something to you. It's a ball. You use your feet. So why have Canadians and Americans called it soccer? There's no socks. There's no hers. It's football, people. Let's change this. Let's let's be uh, let's start a new revolution in Canada and call it football. That'll be fun. Toronto, the great city that I live in, has a football team. The name of it is Toronto FC. Hmm. What do you think the F means? It means football. I think we would get laughed at if they said, Oh, Toronto SC, Toronto Soccer. What? Soccer club? Do you have socks and hers? Please, it's football. American football, you might be asking yourself. Okay, you can't use your feet only when you kick it one time. And the ball's kind of like an egg. So, sorry, not, no, I'm not having it. Bye-bye, soccer. You're gone forever. Um, one of the most confusing things in English and one of the uh, most difficult things for most people to remember is singular and plural. Yeah, of words. So, one of them in your mouth is called a tooth. Okay? And the plural, or more than one, are called teeth. So, every day, please, maybe twice, three times a day, um, we do something that's called brush your teeth. So we say, I brush my teeth, because you want to brush all of them. But the thing that we use to brush our teeth is a toothbrush. Why is it not called a teeth brush? You're not sitting in the mirror only doing one at a time. It would take you ages to get ready. What are you doing? I'm brushing my teeth. I'll be in there in like two hours tops. I'll take the fast way. And the stuff that we use to clean our teeth, teeth, not tooth, is called toothpaste. Again, I would like to change this to toothpaste, but apparently whoever made this crazy English language decided we're going to call it toothpaste. <sighs> mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, good. Another problem with the plural are things that you wear on your lower body. We always have to call them pants and jeans. The last time I checked, I had one lower body. Um, but we always have to put the plural on pants and jeans. I went shopping and I bought pant. No, we have to say pants. I got a new pair of jean. Who's jean? 
If you say even a pair, we have to say a pair of jeans. So this makes me think now that I have four of these things because you have a pair of stuff. So we say a pair of pants and a pair of jeans. Huh. I think I'm going to quit this English thing. Can I learn your language? Will you teach me? Um, the last one is kind of cute, kind of funny. Um, we have these things called shipments or cargo. Shipments or cargo are ways to deliver things that you want. So for example, if you order something off of the internet, off of uh, internet website, Amazon, or something like that, and you want it delivered to your house, they will tell you your shipment will arrive, huh, never, in two weeks. Now, the interesting thing about this is the way that they actually ship the thing is with a car or a truck. Mm -hmm. But if it's actually on a ship, it's called cargo. So the cargo gets on a ship or an airplane, but a shipment is sent by a car or a truck. Logically, Ronnie thinks that cargo should be by a car and shipment should be made by a ship. This is why Ronnie was not allowed to invent the English language, because then you would have nothing to study. So, if you want to study more, check out ingvid.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can learn lots of fun things, and you might just go crazy doing it, or not. Until then, I'll see you soon.